Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slash fill command. Now basically I'm going to go through all five of the fill types and also show you how you can fill areas uh, very simply. And I've also got this really cool thing to also show you as well how to make it much easier to figure out where you want to fill an area. Uh, because I know in the past I've struggled to do that so much times, but it's just really cool. Also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I can't wait to get into this. Now let's type in slash fill. So if we go slash fill, you'll notice that uh, these titles pop up. And this is simply just asking where we want to fill an area. So as you can see, if I do this, do another three, and then let's just add a few numbers here. So let's say I did three, um, three and five. Now I want to add a block as well. So if I want grass, block. So you'll see that it's filled an area here. Uh, this is probably one of the basic commands that you can do. So as you can see, it has filled this area. And you can also see that because I did a different height in the command right here, you'll also see that it is a different height here as well. Now that's the basic command. Let's get straight into the other commands. Now let's say you wanted to fill this area. Now as you can see, I have two little blocks to show that I want that to be the top end and that to be the bottom end. And this is how you do it. So what I do is I do the save method, which is basically just going into or over to your wall. And you want to point your little plus icon at the block. Now what we want to also do is we want to type in the slash fill command. So slash fill. As you can see, the squiggly lines have been replaced with what we are looking at. So as you can see, it's 234. Uh, yeah, you get it. It's the coordinate. So if I do this, then I want to hit enter. Now the reason why I hit enter is because I can actually go back into my command bar and click the up arrow. And you can see that the command or my coordinates have shown up. So this is really useful because I can go over here, point my little plus cursor at the block, then go back into my slash command and use the up arrow to navigate to the last coordinates. And then if I click space, you'll also see that these coordinates pop up. I'm just gonna go ahead and go glass, enter. So as you can see the area which we have uh, asked for, so from that white block which was there, to the white block down here has been filled successfully. Now this is really useful if you want to fill an area, a specific area. Um, yeah. Now let's go on to the next bit. So I'm going to be, so basically I'm going to go into depth about these next bit or this next part of the command, which is destroy, hollow, keep, outline, and replace. Now basically the name says what it does. So destroy will destroy the blocks, hollow will hollow the area, keep will keep blocks, Outline will outline and replace will replace the blocks. Now, destroy and replace basically are the same, except you have to remember this destroy will destroy the block and also drop the item. Now, if it's a block such as this glass area, or if it's a, a block which you can destroy and it will not drop anything, it will not drop anything. Um, but if you do have, like, let's say stone or anything like that, it will drop cobblestone or the block required. So, let's say if I did destroy. And let's do it with dirt. As you can see, I filled this whole area up. But if I do decide to destroy it with a different block, so let's say stone, you'll see that it drops a whole bunch of the items. Now we'll go on to replace. And as I said before, replace doesn't drop blocks. So if I do this, you'll notice it will replace the whole area, but it won't drop any of the dirt blocks or the stone blocks, sorry. The next one, which is hollow, will create a hollow area. So if I hit enter, you'll see that because I'm using Optifine, the glass is a different texture but the actual area inside here is hollow. Now, another weird thing about this command is that hollow has the exact same effect as outline. So if I hit outline, you'll see that, as you can see, the area that I just broke is now fixed and it is still a hollow area or an outlined area. Now, the last part of this command is the keep command. Now, I'm gonna place a whole bunch of blocks in here just to show you how this works. But as you can see, I'm gonna place a whole bunch of blocks inside this area on the outside as well, everywhere in this area, just to show you how it works. And I'm basically going to go into this command and just to make it easier, I'm going to say blue stained glass. So it's, as you can see, so like that. And now I'm going to change this to the keep command. And when I hit enter, you'll notice that it's replaced everything apart from the air area, but it hasn't replaced the actual physical blocks. But yeah, so that's basically it uh, with this tutorial. I just covered the simple parts. If you do want me to do a bedrock tutorial, also comment in this description as well. Uh, please note this will not work with bedrock, what I've done over there, um, because the command line is a bit different. I don't know why. I think it's just because Minecraft is coded differently to 
Minecraft Bedrock. Don't forget to check out my socials, my donation link, but also don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. But yeah, so that's about it. I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya!